Kia ora te whanau, Rowandale School. Welcome to the Whakapono Prize Giving. My name is Mr. Vaso and I'm the proud principal of Rowandale School. And uh, I'd just like to start by saying congratulations to all the students in year five and six who will win awards today. Over the years at Rowandale School, we've seen you grow, we've seen you take on leadership, and we've seen you make the gains that are needed. And so I congratulate you all. Those students that don't receive awards today, never fear. The road towards personal excellence is one that will always be not that easy for some, but you need to keep on working at it because we believe that all our students have the potential and the capability to grow a love of learning. So continue to grow. Whakatipu o mato tangata. We grow our people. Can I thank you, uh, all the parents out there, for your dedication to your children over this lockdown period? For you to continue to allow your child and, and uh, uh, set up opportunities for your child to engage with their, their teacher online, also to learn from home with the home learning packs, has been amazing. We know that 2022 will be a year of challenges, and one of those would be bridging the gap, and that was made by having children learning from home. So we know that because of your hard work, that gap won't be as big as what it could have been. So thank you for your dedication. Can I thank the staff of Whakapono for the amazing work that they've done this year? In particular, can I say thank you to uh, Mrs. Tena Kore, to uh, Faya Lana, uh, Mrs. Ali'i Whalongo, and also to uh, Mrs. Razul for the wonderful leadership that you've shown in your team. Thank you to the team of teachers and LSAs and Whakapono that have worked really hard over the year to engage with, you, with their students and to provide uh, you know, a learning program that I believe is one of the best around. So thank you very much, Team Whakapono. We've got a few changes to our staff next year. So I'd like to firstly say thank you to the leadership of Mrs. Tina Kore. She has won the principal's job at Birkdale Primary School. So we congratulate her and we wish her all the best. And we thank you for the love that you've shown our community and our staff. Thank you, Mrs. Tina Kore. We've also got Mrs. Ali'i Whalongo, and she has won a study award. So she's going away to work on an amazing master's degree. And so for the year, she'll be back in 2023. So we wish you all the best next year, Mrs. Ali'i Whalongo. Good luck with your studies. Work hard. And yeah, you know you've got this. We've also got Mrs. Clark, who's won a teaching job at a school in East Auckland. Mrs. Clark, thank you for your commitment. You've been with us as an LSA right through to being a teacher. We thank you for your dedication to our children. We know you will do amazing everywhere you go. So we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. And then, of course, we've got Mrs. Doolin. Mrs. Doolin, thank you for your dedication to our school. Thank you for coming back and giving it a second go at trying to work here. Uh, you are amazing. You are very kind natured. Your heart is full of love for our kids and for the people you work with. We wish you all the best out West Auckland at ACG. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for choosing us. So you've got a few changes in the staffing for Whakapono. You'll see in the latest newsletter that I've shared the staffing for 2022. So you'll see which teachers are being moved. You'll notice that Team Whakapono in 2022 is year four to year six, and Team Tumanako is year one to year three. Team Aroha will be known as the staff. So, um, yeah, those changes. But have a look at the newsletter. Next year, you'll also notice that I'm not returning for one year. For 2022, I've been seconded to Tautaele Moana, and I'll be working with principals across New Zealand to build their Pacific capability. I am so happy to do so because Mr Naidu is a very capable acting principal and will do an amazing job. He is surrounded and supported by a very effective leadership team. So I wish them all the best for 2022. And I know our school will be in good hands. So I'll see you in 2023. I'd like to remind everybody to please stay safe and stay well over this Christmas and New Year's season. It's important that we just, you know, um, adhere to the expectations of the you know, Ministry of Health in relation to how we keep ourselves safe. Because we want to get on top of this COVID. We want all our students to return in 2022. And we want them to return to a safe environment where we know we can keep our kids safe. God bless you all. Thank you for engaging today. Tofa Suifua.